Welcome back to King Donkey Games. It's a Fallout unboxing. Like I said, I'm going to be literally doing one video right after the other one. And this is the Fallout 3 Collector's Edition for PlayStation 3. And uh, from what the guy said in the eBay description, this should be complete. This should have everything. The game and uh, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and peel off this sleeve. Ouch. Got some scuff. Ooh, there's some... He decided to eat spaghetti over it or something. We'll have to clean that off. Some smudgy marks and stuff on side. On the outside. Let's see if I kind of bend that back into place a little bit. We'll mess it up later. Here it is. The nice old style Vault Tech lunchbox. Prepare for the future. Vault Tech. Let's go ahead and open up this bad boy and see what we got. Yeah, this thing definitely needs a cleaning. Alright, here we go. The making, or not the making of, uh, Fallout 3. The game right there for PS3. It's complete in there. It's got the Vault Dweller Survival Guide. Let's see ya. Check the condition of the disc. The disc looks great. No scratches on it or anything like that. Peel this out, Fallout 3, Vault Dweller Survival Guide. It's got a nice little introduction. I like this, this method for adjustment. The following system is an easy way to ensure you adjust quickly to life in the wasteland. It says, time Patience. T. Rust in yourself. Initial discomfort is normal. Make a plan. Enjoy what you are doing. Partner with friendly locals. Actions speak louder than words. Treat wounds immediately. Intuition is your greatest asset. Embrace challenges. Notice your surroundings. Combat fear and loneliness. Exercise caution always. Let's go ahead and read the first paragraph of the introduction to Fallout 3 real quick. Nuclear war, the very words conjure images of mushroom clouds, gas masks, and bewildered children ducking and covering under their school desks. But it's the aftermath of such a conflict that truly inspires our imaginations, in large part because there's no real world equivalent we can relate to. Mankind may have witnessed the horror of the atomic bomb, but thankfully we somehow succeeded in not blowing up the entire planet, at least not yet. Fallout 3 presents a much grimmer reality. Imagine after World War II, the timeline had split. Our world forked into one branch, the Fallout universe, the other. Okay, yeah. It didn't make sense there for a second reading. I was like, wait, what? It, I just got off work and decided to make this video, so I'm a little bit brain dead at the moment. In that other branch, technology progressed at a much more impressive rate, while American society remained locked in the cultural norms of the 1950s. It was an idyllic world of tomorrow filled with servant robots, beehive hairdos, and fusion-powered cars. And then in the year 2077, at the climax of a long-running war with China, it all went to hell in a globe-shattering globe war. That's where you come in. Fallout 3 takes place 200 years later in the year 2277 in the post-apocalyptic wasteland, the post-apocalyptic Washington, D.C., rather, and its environs. Capital Wasteland, as it has come to be known, is a nightmare landscape of roving raider gangs, freakish super mutants, rotting feral ghouls, and malfunctioning military robots. It's a good thing you've been living underground for the past 19 years, safe and secure, in an official vault tech facility no, known as Vault 101. Everything is fine and dandy until your father, who has been the one constant in your life, decides to leave the vault unexpectedly, forcing you to follow in pursuit. So much for safety. Now here's the good news. When that giant vault door slides open and you're thrust into the harsh sunlight of the Capital Wasteland, you're completely free to make your own destiny. Follow after dear old dad, or forget he even exists. Head straight into the ramshackle town of Mega Megaton and meet its, meet its electic, eclectic inhabitants, or shoot first and exchange pleasantries later. That's really the most important thing to remember about Fallout 3. It's your game, so play it the way you want. There is no right way to play. Try out the many skills and perks found in this manual. Try using VATS, the Saldu combat system. But most of all, remember that each challenge in, 
each challenge the game gives you has multiple ways of solving it and multiple outcomes. There are many paths to success. The game does eventually end, but how it ends is up to you and the character you play. We here at Bethesda Game Studios hope you have as much fun adventuring in our world as we've had creating it. It's been, a, it's been an honor keeping the Fallout universe alive, and it's time for you to experience the wonder all over again, or for the very first time, whichever the case may be. Oh, and one more thing. When you finally catch up with Dad, be nice. Or not. Fallout 3 King. And the rest of it's just your general explanation of all the game. Oh, there's perks. It's got the perk list and everything either. I wish more games would do this. Put out a really nice kind of uh, a really nice manual with it. This needs to be clean too. It feels kind of dusty. Alright, let's see what else we got in here next. Making a Fallout 3 the DVD. Comes in a nice little thing to make it kind of look like a hollow tape package. 